All things denote there is a God, taught the ancient prophet Alma. Yea, even the earth and all the things that are upon the face of it, yea, and its motion, yea, and also all the planets which move in their regular form, do witness that there is a supreme creator. And the Lord said to Enoch, All things are created and made to bear record of me, both things which are temporal and things which are spiritual. Indeed, the beauties and wonders of the earth do bear witness of our loving Father in heaven and his Son, Jesus Christ. They witness of God's merciful goodness to us, his children, and they help us develop our faith in him. As our faith grows, we yearn to be more like the Savior. Our love of God and of our brothers and sisters throughout the world increases. Nature is a powerful teacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We will compare the word unto a seed, Alma said. If ye give place that a seed may be planted in your heart, behold, if it be a good seed, it will begin to swell within your breasts. And when you feel these swelling motions, ye will begin to say within yourselves, it must needs be that this is a good seed, or that the word is good, for it beginneth to enlarge my soul. Yea, it beginneth to enlighten my understanding. Yea, it beginneth to be delicious to me. Now behold, would not this increase your faith? Zenus likened the house of Israel to an olive tree, which, over the millennia, was grafted and pruned, and would continue to be until the Lord returns again. Ammon compared the gathering of Israel to a field of ripe grain, telling his brethren that they succeeded in thrusting in their sickles. Behold the number of your sheaves, he exclaimed. Gardens, grapes, figs, and fruit trees were all used by the Savior himself to teach his disciples. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles, the Lord asked? Even so, Every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Jesus helps us understand truths of his gospel in the parable of the sower. He taught of good and evil in the parable of the wheat and the tares. He taught of faith by comparing it to a grain of mustard seed. The gospel changes lives like leaven changes bread. The final judgment is like fishermen separating good fish from bad in their nets. And, of course, his great atonement began in a garden, a sacred grove of olive trees. Gardens and nature help us increase our faith. As we engage in planting, feeding, watering, weeding, and nurturing our gardens and our orchards, the Holy Spirit teaches us he edifies us, and he helps us teach and testify to others, including our children. When we strive to keep the covenants we have made, our lives, like our gardens, are fed, watered, weeded, and nurtured by the Holy Ghost, for all things are spiritual unto the Lord. Our faith increases. We become more like him, and if we are faithful, we shall be laden with many sheaves, and crowned with honor and glory and immortality and eternal life. Members of the Far West Missouri Stake are invited to join the hundreds of other members who have planted gardens, grown flowers, produced fruit, enjoyed herbs, and become closer to the Savior. Do what you can. Your garden may not be large. It may not be beautiful and it may not win awards, but your harvest will be plentiful and it will increase your faith.